Yeah, okay. yeah. So yeah, 2019, I had zero monthly listeners. Yeah. Nah, so yeah. what would you say if, if we can narrow it down to like maybe, and if there's more, that's cool. Like the top three to five things that you can attribute to the momentum that you've been able to build in just four years. Yeah, one of my one of my top things that I wanted to do was be so consistent it was impossible to ignore me. So mm. just very frequent releases, very frequent creation of content. Content also includes music, but you know, videos and whatever. Just being consistent, being in front of people all the time. Uh, whether it be music content or other content, you know, just just being in front of people. Um, and then I would say short form content in general was very, uh, critical kind of in, in people finding out, uh, that I was making music where they could find it. I didn't focus on any really long form. I just dove in head first to short form and then converted that over to, to people listening on, on the DSPs, the Spotify's or the Apple music, whatever, but really just consistency. Really? I, I can't really. Because with the consistency comes all the other stuff, you know, with the consistency comes, it gets easier to be better, you know, uh, so you're, you have less misses, your songs are better more often, you're not making as many bad songs in between the good ones, because you're just creating more consistently. Same with your content, you know, you get better at making content, the more you make it's it's, it's like, you know, it's like putting in your time in the gym, it's putting in your time and getting shots up, it's, it's whatever, whatever it is for you. It's the same, you know, the music's a muscle. The content creation's a muscle. So it's just uh, doing it all the time and getting better at it. Yeah. So, I, I mean, you can definitely hear the consistency from song to song. Um, like some of the artists that I listen to are, are super consistent. So like an artist like Blast, um, you know, or an artist like Drake or Russ mm. um, or Rex Life Raj. Like you could just hear like the, the, the quality, the consistency um, of quality from song to song. Like I may not love every song, but I can sure. tell that there's a, there's a certain level of quality in, in these releases. So when you say consistent, let people know like about how often were you releasing music in 2019, and how did that change, if at all, to how you're how often you're releasing music now? 2019, my goal was, and what I did was a song with a music video every two weeks. Um, and then, okay. so that was, you know, yeah, a single and a music video every two weeks. So that's 24 music videos, 24 singles in the span of 2019. So that's what I did that year. And then, you know, coming to a spot where I realized, you know, nobody's discovering people off YouTube. The music videos are pretty much a waste of energy um, and a waste of time really. I need to be finding better ways to promote my music because uh, music videos in a, in a sense are a little selfish in general when you think about it right it's artsy for the artists to do it they want to do it uh whether it makes them look cool or makes them you know just it pairs with the art well whatever it is it's it's not a discovery method as much as it used to be um mm. with with like mtv or even with the with the youtube kind of music scene come up like a Hobson would have had or, or a Mike Studd or a Huey Mac or even a, a, um, a G easy, you know, all these guys kind of NF, all these guys kind of came up on YouTube when it was a discovery method. And it is now starting to be again with shorts, but it's short form content. It's less of the music videos like futuristic was doing one takes and they were doing them really frequently back on the YouTube scene. So it just changed, right? You had to adapt and figure it out. Um, so I just went with short form, obviously, TikTok reels, Facebook reels, Instagram reels, uh, YouTube shorts now. But yeah, short form stuff and just releasing it. And it doesn't change much to this day. I still release every two weeks every, or every week if I feel like it. The last um, the last two months I've been releasing every week. I have a ton of done music. I have a, you know, a master's folder with 150 finished songs in it, uh, constantly adding to it and releasing from it. So it's just like, uh, yeah, it's just just consistent you know just be releasing be in front of people all the time so so you got 150 songs like done ready to go ready to release whenever you feel like i think yeah. and that's that's what the consistency brings consistency those reps you know it's probably a lot easier for you to create today than it was in 2019 exactly exactly and that's kind of what i meant like the more you do it 
the easier it becomes to be good more consistently, you know? Indeed.